Now, if you guys haven't watched a Goblin Slayer enemy, you should definitely give it a chance because it's one of the best. Now, why is this so good? Because I'm going to show you one particular scene from the enemy. Uh, to be exact, it's from episode 11. And just take a look at the scene. Please, I'm asking for your help. So yeah, that's one of the reasons as to why I think Goblin Slayer is such a good enemy. Normally, whenever you see a popular enemy nowadays, you're going to see that the character is like really overpowered. That's the whole point of, you know, the recent genre. Uh, they try to make the character really overpowered and then describe it to other people. That way, you know, they get... There's the trend at this moment. Overpowered character is one of the biggest trend. And that's actually really popular as well. But that's where Goblin Slayer is different. He doesn't have unlimited power. He is not going to win every single battle there is. There are battles that he is going to lose and he knows that. He says that he, if it was in some kind of cave, he could have won it because there wouldn't have been that many opening. But since it's an open field fight, that means he cannot stop every single one of them. They can run away from the other side, they can come from four different sides, they can do whatever they want. There is going to be arrows spell casters and a lot of other things he knows his limits he knows that he is going to get defeated if he actually tries to fight all of them all by himself so that's what makes goblin slayer such an interesting character and in my opinion one of the best enemy character there is let me know what you guys think uh, who is your favorite character and also don't forget that goblin slayer season 2 has already started adding so make sure you guys give it a try because if you like it then they're going to create more seasons in the future ta-ta